started live streaming. Okay. Sorry. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for coming this morning. Uh, we've had our first weekend at um, Stoolies, and uh, we're very pleased to s uh, say that we've had a significant decrease in the number of arrests and prosecutions against Schoolies than last year. And uh, so um, we're quite pleased with the behaviour this year of our uh, 2013 schoolies. Well, it is frustrating and it's concerning to us. Uh, one of the things that we do in our preparatory work for schoolies is we uh, make contact with all the accommodation managers and uh, one of the things that is discussed is the um, balcony um, hopping and uh, I can assure you that uh, anyone caught undertaking that activity will have their schoolies uh, adventure cancelled very early. Um, and, but the safety message for the young people is uh, you really have to think about the consequences before you do any of this uh, skylarking. Have you caught anyone yet? Uh, there's been two people evicted on the first night from uh, the Hilton and um, they weren't caught by police, but management identified that they were uh, balcony hopping and they were evicted from their premises. So there's a substantial financial loss they've experienced, plus their uh, schoolies activities have come to a quick halt. How high up were they? Uh, I can't tell you that. Are, are you happy in those circumstances for management to take over and play that role, or? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, Look, well, police are out there to make sure it's a secure and safe event, but we can't be everywhere. We've got over 300 police, but other people have to take responsibility, and that's just not um, the security of the building, it's parents as well. So I urge all parents to be contacting their children every day to make sure not only uh, how they are, but how their spirits are, because uh, this is a time now, after a few days of uh, letting their hair down, that um, some young people start to feel a bit lost, a bit sad, a bit depressed, and uh, we don't want any dangerous behaviour uh, occurring um, at this time of school. You mentioned too, that you don't want to talk about it, but if people find this embarrassing, that's not on. You said that the school's eventual end, what do you guys do to the if you go behind? Well, we don't have the right to do that, of course. Uh, this is not a police event. This is a, an event where people come into Surface Paradise uh, like at any time of the year, but um, uh, at this time of the year we have uh, approximately 28,000 young people who come in. Uh, it's not up to the police to dictate what people can and can't do. If they break the law, then of course uh, they'll be dealt with accordingly. So it's a, it's a group uh, approach, and when I say that I mean by um, accommodation managers, the security and accommodations, the volunteers are there, um, and that we, we are just hoping that the young people uh, come to realise that that sort of behaviour is not appropriate. So essentially the money they've spent on accommodation is going to want to do it, yeah. Well, if they're evicted from the premises, that's correct. If they're skylarking on balconies, balcony hopping, that's not public nuisance, so it's not considered an offence. No, that's suppose. correct. That is uh, that is just foolish and dangerous behaviour. Is that frustrating that there's no offence for it? Well, I think... Uh, you know, we can't have offences for every uh, type of skylarking behaviour. Of course, if it was something that was a public nuisance, if it was something that caused a police investigation, then we, would, we could consider that in that public nuisance offence. But uh, very difficult to uh, identify, um, other than if you've got cameras on every building and you're watching it 24 hours a day. But certainly the message should be that it is behaviour that will end your schoolies adventure. Regarding arrest numbers, we're again seeing more um, so-called toolies arrested than schoolies. Are you finding an increased number of toolies in the precinct this year? No, um, we're not actually. Uh, it's it's uh, similar to previous years and uh, the behaviour is similar. The main offences, of course, are public nuisance and uh, those types of street offences. And um, the number of schoolies, of course, uh, where the, the um, arrests are something like 30% down on previous years for offences committed by schoolies, which is really encouraging. Has that got to do with the weather, or what would you put that down to? Well, you could put it down to lots of things. Um, some years there's good grade 12s, and some years there's adventurous grade 12s. <laughs> uh, it could be the weather. The weather, of course, has been particularly nasty earlier on in the evening, but it doesn't seem to prevent the young people from coming out on the street. Uh, um, I, I'd say that early in the piece, when the rain's heavy, 
they take shelter in the apartments as soon as it eases, they're out there. Both seminars have been held during the year with, with the various emergency services. Do you think both, both have an effect? I think uh, the fact that we do a lot of planning and preparatory work with all the agencies involved, uh, communities, volunteers, red frogs, fireys, ambulance, they, we all come together and we discuss the strategies that we can employ jointly to make it a safe environment and that has over the years proved to be the successful mix. Does it appear that schoolies are uh, essentially making most of, of that response regarding volunteers, uh, the, the medical staff that are there to help as well? Yes, on Saturday night I was at the triage area on um, the Esplanade and um, by about uh, midnight there had been 20 young people in there and what I found interesting is they were brought in there by their mates and of course this year's message is look after your mates and so I think that has run through. Uh, prior to the event this year there was a lot of um, school education programs undertaken by the various emergency services and uh, police and I think they've paid off um, and uh, I think that's a good message to get out there is look after your mates. Despite the messages, there's still plenty of inappropriate photos that people are uploading. Um, we haven't seen that. Um, I'm sure that that's taking place. And of course, uh, you can't legislate for foolishness. And uh, we can only give the message. If it's not heeded, uh, it's very difficult for us to take it forward. Of course, if the offence is committed, if those uh, images are explicit images, then uh, the full force of the law will uh, certainly be placed against those people who commit the offence. There are images of uh, schoolies with small bags of, of drugs, of marijuana, um, in using them, uh, using it in their rooms. What's the concern for folks? What can you do if they're in their hotel rooms? Well, it's very difficult if they're in their hotel rooms. Like any drug investigation, if the police are given information, and um, we quite often get information from other schoolies, um, if we get information, we can take ac action under the Drugs Misuse Act to um, take out warrants, enter those premises and undertake searches. Uh, what the schoolies need to understand is these, this sort of behaviour with a record of drugs on your history can have a huge impact on your future employment, but also if you want to travel overseas, can have a huge impact on your ability to get into a country with a drug conviction. Well, it seems to have been timed for about 7 or 8 o'clock of an evening uh, prior to when um, uh, the entertainment really gets into full swing. So basically what it's done is it's dampened down the roads and uh, um, till about 8 o'clock or so and uh, then they still, the young people still come out to enjoy that hub, those hub activities until midnight. Do you want them out there more so they're in their rooms than if they're out in the street or in the hub area? Personally, if they're out there with their mates um, and they're enjoying the hub activities, that's fantastic. But if they're going to be in their rooms, all we can say is be responsible for the behaviour, be responsible for um, any alcohol consumption, and certainly it's a say no to drugs policy for us. Regarding the road thing, you haven't seen too many of them driving in and around the precinct. That's not a concern at this stage. Well, there is a concern in relation to the electric scooters that are, uh, seem to become more prevalent. Uh, these are classified, if they're um, 200 kilowatts or under, they're classified as um, bicycles. They can be uh, ridden like bicycles on footpaths. The concern for us is that the young people, these things can get up to 30 kilometres an hour. They're on the roads, but they're silent. And uh, we only need to make one slight error of judgement, uh, wearing shorts, a t-shirt and a button, uh, push bike helmet, and you could have some significant injuries. Uh, so what we would like to do is get the message out to the young people. While you're on the bikes, you need to realise that there's other road users who have a lot bigger vehicles that can hurt.